Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. In today's video, we'll be looking at Notability as a PDF reader in 2023. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Notability doesn't identify hyperlinks in your PDF. You have to know where they are to get the most out of your hyperlinks in the app. The eraser, lasso, and hand tools navigate your links the fastest. Whereas your pen and highlighter tools prompt you to go to the link. The two-step process feels a bit cumbersome. Notability now has two annotation modes for your PDFs. The first one uses the text tool, which allows you to long press the text in your PDFs to highlight it. You can use any color you like. And you can easily remove these highlights. The app has no trouble recognizing columns in your PDFs, which is great. You won't have your selection accidentally going across columns in your PDF. The second annotation mode is one we've always had in the app. Handwriting your notes onto your PDFs. You can use all the pens and highlighter tools. You can even add text boxes if you like. All the tools you have for taking notes in the app you also have for annotating your PDFs. Night mode makes it easier to read your PDF in the night. However, it also converts diagrams, making them look a bit unnatural. It is still better than not having dark mode at all. So Notability is one of the few apps that actually supports true dark mode, which is awesome. You can easily extract information and images from your PDFs thanks to Notability's ability to drag and drop items in and out of the app. Multiple instances let you open the app twice so you can extract this information into a different notebook within the app. In 2023, Notability still does not recognize contents pages in PDFs. It is such an important feature, especially for large documents. It's sad we still don't have it in the app, but you can create bookmarks as a workaround. It helps with easing your navigation, but it's still a bit of work. Instead of scrolling your pages, you can look through the thumbnails that are much smaller and easier to navigate. So this will help you to navigate your PDF faster. You can also choose to see only the pages with annotations on them, which also eases your navigation. If you still can't find what you're looking for, simply search for it. Notability can search through your handwritten notes and scans. So you will definitely find what you're looking for. You can add blank pages between the pages in your PDF. In case you run out of space for your annotations, you can quickly add a page and continue working. When sharing your PDFs, you can choose the pages you want to share. You can protect your PDFs with passwords. Whoever receives your PDF must know the password to open and view its contents. Notability as a PDF reader is ideal if you typically read short documents or when they have hyperlinks to ease navigating them. It is also great if you like handwriting your annotations. 
With all notables, you can rotate your pages. Note that it does not rotate the ink as well. And that covers pretty much everything there is to PDF annotation in Notability. We hope you guys found this video useful. Give it a thumbs up. If you did, thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.